carpet powered by our friends at BMW of Sarasota, the ultimate driving machine. It's Tyler and we are out and about in Venice for a taste of the twig. Let's go in, take a gander and find out what this event is all about. Come on. Out and about where the sun is always shining. Out and about, blue color fine and finding. Out and about, I'm beginning to friends and living. Out and about, what a groovy time we're having. Like flying on the ground when time goes around. Out and about, out and about when time goes around. He takes you with his sound. Out and about, out and about. A taste for the twig. I'm here with Nicole. Welcome to the show. Hello, I'm Nicole Britton. I'm the director of development for the twig. All right, let's talk about the twig and what it's all about and how many years is this event happening? So this is our second year that we have combined our online auction and our taste for the twig here at the Venice Community Center. Um, we've been doing the online auction for about seven years now, but this is our great in-person one where we've combined all of our events together into one big fundraising night. I gotta ask you, what is the twig and where that name came from and what is it all about? Absolutely. So we are a nonprofit that serves as a resource for children in foster care. So we have boutiques where they come in and they shop completely free of charge for clothing and shoes. Every two minutes a child enters foster care in the United States and it's due to some form of trauma. So they come very unexpectedly, often with just the clothes on their backs. We're here to meet that need by providing them those practical clothing items in a fun, bright children's store while also pouring love and support and encouragement into their lives. Great. Now, who came up with this whole concept, the founder? Yes, yeah, so our founder is Diane Weed. Um, she has four daughters, the youngest of which she adopted out of the foster care system as a baby. And when she became a teenager, she thought, you know, what if I didn't adopt her? What if she was still in foster care? Who would be giving her these clothes and who would be supporting her? She looked at what was out there and there was nothing like this that really gave these kids dignity. Um, and she created it in 2016. Such a great cause. If our friends are watching, maybe they want to get involved in your next event or make a donation. Do you have a website? We sure do. TheTwigCares.com. Right there at the bottom of your screen. Well, thank you so much for giving this information out. There's so many great things that are happening here in the city of Venice, and I'm so excited to be here this year. Thanks so much. Thank you. I'm here with the founder. This is Diane. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I can't wait to talk to you a little bit about the twig and how it all began. How many years ago now? Uh, we've been in existence for seven years now. Seven years. So let's talk a little bit about the twig and the creativity and how you came up with the concept. Well, I uh, my youngest daughter was adopted out of the foster care system. And so when she became a senior in high school, I started thinking, where would she be shopping if she was still in foster care? And I just knew I would want her to go, be able to go somewhere that would treat her with love and dignity and respect and make her feel good about herself. And then I thought, if I would want that for my daughter, wouldn't I want that for everybody's child? And so that night, I told my husband, I know what we need to do. And within three months, we opened up the twig. I'm here with Lisa. She's a committee member with The Twig. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Great to be here. All right, Lisa, I got to ask you what our friends can expect to happen here tonight. What are we all going to see happen? Oh, it's going to be a wonderful, fun night. We're, uh, we have a lot of local great um, restaurants that are here. They have tastings, and we have Shark's Tooth uh, Vodka here giving some tastings. Three Bridges has beer tastings, so it's going to be a lot of fun. And um, there's also a silent auction on the side, which is really great, which I have um, been coordinating for the past six months. Will you be buying anything? I absolutely. I have quite a few things I've been watching. I keep getting outbid, but yeah. every outbid goes directly into the Twig's pocket. So Awesome. Thanks so much. Listen, stay right there. When we come back, we're coming back from inside the event. You don't want to miss it when we return right after this message. Brew Burgers, founded in 2010, with the idea of creating the world's best tasting burgers paired with a good selection of icy cold beers. Voted best tasting burgers in Venice year after year, including freshly craft salads, award-winning chilies, soups, wings, and even vegetarian options. We'll see you at Brew Burgers, two locations to choose from, Jacaranda and I-75 or Venice Island next to Publix. 
Welcome back. You know I had to start at one of my favorite places, Brew Burgers, right here in Venice. You know, I'm going to be trying something that it looks like, what, gumbo, ladies? Yes, it's gumbo. It's really good. Oh, gumbo. All right. Well, I know if it's Brew Burgers, it's got to be good. So let me give it a try. Looks like it's got some rice in it, right? Ooh, and a little zip to it. Yeah, it's, it tastes really good, though. You know what else tastes good? The next place. Follow me. Oh, another staple to the Venice area. It looks like Fins. How are you doing? Good, sir. How are you today? Good. All right, chef. What are we trying? Uh, we're having pork belly bao bun. So it's a Korean pork belly barbecue sauce that we have. Uh, it's stuffed inside of a steamed bao bun. We have a really nice Napa cabbage and cilantro slaw that goes with it. Some sweet chili sauce on top and a little bit of sesame seeds. And the inspiration behind this, and can you get this at your actual restaurant, or is this a special? This is part of our Finn's Frenzy. Uh, the inspiration for us is that we serve this from 4 to 6 with a lot of cocktails and beer. It's beautiful finger food, and it goes great with the drink. All right, here we go. We all know Finn's here in Venice. Wow, very nice. I love the combination. Four bites and you're right out the door. Another great restaurant. Let's give another try. Come on. Ah, British Open Pub. Hello, how are you guys? Doing good, doing good. All right, tell me a little bit about what you guys are offering tonight. Today we're offering, offering Jameson meatballs that we do offer in the restaurant on our pub menu. They are homemade Jameson meatball and tossed in a Jameson barbecue sauce that we make here in the restaurant ourselves. All right, so tell me a little bit about the restaurant and how long has it been in the area? It has been in the area for about 20 years. Um, the lady has owned it. She's owned it for 16 years now. Um, and we are in a new location after been about seven years now. Uh, we do catering. We have a food truck that goes out and about also. Um, and Out and about. Out and about. There you go. All right, buddy. Thanks so much. Let's see what else they have here for more food. Come on. All right. It looks like Pops. How are you, buddy? Great. How are you doing? Good. So what are we going to be trying here? I have loaded hash brown balls with a hollandaise cheese sauce. I know Pops, and Pops has always got it going on with DJ Harry doing the music, and of course some great food and a great sunset, of course, right? All the times. Come and see us, and the dolphins, too. What's behind me? I only got one hand here. It's a very, very delicious Bloody Mary with some blue cheese stuffed olives and slab bacon. I think I'll give that to the producer. Because, you know, I'm a Christian. I ain't drinking tonight. <laughs> All right. And I'm going to definitely try this right here. Absolutely amazing. And again, the sauce? A hollandaise cheese sauce. Very nice. All right, guys. Let's go and check, in that, check out what else is happening. Come on. Now, you know I had to take a stop at one of my favorite desserts. You know, I love desserts. So cake for breakfast, cake for lunch, cake for dinner. I'm here with? My name is Stacy with Bella Flamingo Bakehouse. What do we have? This is my gluten-free hot chocolate infused mini cake. Gluten-free, so that means it's fat-free too, right? That means it's totally good for you. All right, here I go, I'm giving it a try. Oh man, what's the difference between gluten-free? What, what the ingredients? Yeah, there's um, a flour substitute in it, so it takes a little more time, a little more mixing, a little more caressing, but hopefully... Absolutely sensational. If our friends want to check you out online, do you have a website? Yes, I have a website. It's BellaFlamingoBakehouse.com or on Facebook and Instagram. And real quick, how many different dessert uh, desserts do you offer? How many different types? Almost anything. Oh I'm, I do custom work, so... Awesome. Thanks so much. right here in Venice, really giving back to the community. That's the end of a segment. We'll see you once again when we're out and about in Venice on the red carpet.
talked about on the red carpet made possible by Green Fine Spine. This has been an Out and About Media production and a broadcast of the Spotlight Channel.